all right guys today we are gonna be reacting to andrew schools this lady allergic to logic jump in we both agree brian and myself would both agree that two people can meet each other and sparks can fly and there's butterflies in their stomach and all that stuff happens however can we be at least somewhat rational here when we apply this that not every man has the same options as every other man nor every woman the same options as every other woman you would agree with me, for instance, would you not, that a very beautiful woman usually has a better option of what type of man she wants than a really ugly woman, right? True. Okay, so if that's the case, but you would they also all got options. Me, hang, hang on, no hang on. matter. If that is, hang on. If that is the case, you would also agree with me that a really rich man has better options at his disposal than a not so rich man, right? True. Yeah, so but if that's that not is the, the case, point of then, saying... all, then all we have to do is just use logic. We can just apply basic logic. Yeah, but you still Since can... we're reducing the pool, the but amount we of people we fall that in love can... with people below us all the time. Like, yeah, but you're my not. ex okay, from listen, jail below listen. me. I still loved him I, and hold him. I know, down. I know. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. You just have to listen to what I'm saying. If logically you agree that rich men have more options than poor men and that beautiful women have more options than ugly women, then necessarily that's going to reduce the pool of available mates that you can feel those butterflies with. Mm. And if you're talking about 0.1% of the population, that really reduces the amount of mates that you can feel those butterflies with, right? Right. Which is why, why she says she only dates. She says she only dates people with money, so she's putting herself in a position to only come in contact with those type of men. Yeah, she, well, I mean, we have, a name, we have a name for that. There's a popular name for that. It's called a gold digger. And you know what type of woman rich men stay the fuck away from? Tell, give, me, give me a hint. If any of you know the answer to this question, raise your hand. What type of woman does a rich man stay away from? If you know the answer, raise your hand. I want to hear. Anyone? None of you know the answer? Okay, yeah, what's the answer? What type? A gold digger. A gold digger, a gold digger. Pick a me. rich man more than <laughs> anything kind of else a avoids thing. a gold digger. I mean, and the reason they do is because wow, wow, they wow. want to be loved for who? They See how they jump in and trying to cut Andrew off? That's such a bad behavior. And they do it on purpose. That's the thing, you know? They are not for their money, right? So now we just reduce the pool even more. Yeah, but some guys ain't that bright. You see plenty like basketball players get random pregnant and stuff. Like you see it every yeah, day. They ain't marrying them. They ain't marrying them. They're taking them back to their hotel room. They're taking them back to their I mean, hotel but then room. They lose, and they're like, running the train on them is what they're doing. They're but, not marrying these chicks. No, but they do still have to cough up seventy thousand a month or something like that. She just says she wants somebody rich. I don't know if she even wants yeah, to be married. She wants, so she wants to baby trap him. <laughs> what? She didn't. Say well, you that. said I can't have kids. Have that was your quote. So I guess that's not. Yeah, happening. you did say she couldn't have kids. So yeah. how is she baby trapping when you just put like? That's something? what you said. You said. I've you never said, said, that. Well, she said that. She could go get knocked up. She could go get knocked up. I didn't say that. I said that's what makes they seventy do. grand a month. <laughs> What? I mean, I guess if you want to twist it for views. No, what? How did I twist it? That's what you said. No, you twist my words. You said women could get with a basketball player. You said, you're speaking no. about marriage. She never wants to have marriage. She only says she wants to date people in a million range. Oh, man. And that's all. Do you, are you guys, are you guys, do you guys like this in the, her hair? Are you guys, can you say that her hairline right here? Do you guys like that in a woman? I never understood why they do that. It does not look good at all. She's saying Let me know in the she comment section. Someone like that. She deals with men like that who take care of her now. What's well, so that's funny fair. about I guess it. I should ask that. Are you planning on getting married to this 0.1%? What, like I always said, like whatever's meant to be will be. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, huh? Good job. Mm -hmm. Whatever will be, will be. The thing is, is that here's what won't be. What won't be is um, that you're going to get a diamond ring from a 0.1 percenter. I can, I, in fact, in fact, I will shut my YouTube channel down <laughs> if you get a diamond ring from a 1 percenter and walk down the aisle. You go get it, you go get it. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> you know, the people who put you down is always the ones who later see you shine. Wow. 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 Hey, let's just give shout out to the to the lady for just quoting a Facebook post. Wow, this is... 
And you know what's crazy? This is funny because those kind of sayings, those kind of phrases, they literally just put them as, you know, something written from the Bible kind of thing. You know, they like it's written in rocks and they they those kind of um, how do you call it? Um, affirmative phrases It's become their reality. So it's a way for them to just cope in their own life. Insane, man. Realism. How is this putting anybody down? Well, it's like, me, it's like me saying, hey, listen, listen, if you walk across that rickety bridge, it's going to collapse. And you're like, well, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. And you walk across the bridge and it collapses. And I go, I told you, dumbass, it was going to collapse. And you go, well, all you were doing is putting me down. It's like, no, I'm just telling you the facts. I mean, but some of us do believe in God. And like, when wow. you believe in God, an anything Christian. can happen. I believe in God. He's stating <laughs> general think? reality. That's his general, though. You, you never know. know. God general... might fix that that for me because he wants me to walk. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you in on a secret. When you say it's your reality versus my reality, the bridge doesn't give a, give a shit when it collapses. The bridge doesn't care. Yeah, but God can make that doesn't bridge stay still. doesn't care whose reality still. it is then. If he wants it to, if I'm one of his children, he can it make it stay still. It doesn't do you think have that, to, do you, apply wait, to Hang on, I'm sorry. Do you think that uh, God's message through Jesus Christ was that you go gold dig for rich guys? No. Is that what you think? I is? never okay, said no, nothing no. about God so why would God? Digging. So why would you ask for God to intervene to give you a rich man? That's insane. I didn't ask that, sir. I just am speaking for her, and I don't think she meant what she thought she meant. She just meant what someone the rich hell? is the only one she's dating. And I don't see a problem in it if that's her type. Like if that's no, you know, you, if your preference is to only date rich men, right? There's no, I don't have any moral uh, consideration against that. It's totally up to you. But that doesn't mean I can't point out the fact that it's totally delusional to think that there's going to be a long-term relationship with one of these men who's making that kind of money per year mm -hmm. in that particular area of the country with that much competition and that you shine through because you give good massage. Can I ask that you sounds something? insane, right? I mean, I, I, am I the only one, or does that sound completely delusional? Have you dated rich already? Like, you've had a man who had money. Yes. Yes, so if someone already... Yeah, but I don't think she understands. Dating one thing is one thing, but locking that guy up, locking him up, make sure that he just became a husband or a boyfriend, whatever, that's the skill that she's missing because she thinks that because the guy is sleeping with her, somehow that put her in a relationship category, which is not... It's not the argument here. Made her a girlfriend. He considered her to be somebody he could take to his family. Yeah. Anything. Did you dump him or did he dump you? We're still dating. They're still. No, you're still they're dating. still dating. He's talking so, about marriage. Yeah, but they don't have to get married right now. What well, if that's they get? What he's talking about. But what if they get married in the future? There's always a what if, but he's specifically talking about marriage. It doesn't matter because <laughs> it doesn't matter for she didn't say well, she wanted to be married. That's so y'all steady point. focusing on that. That's his point though. But she says she just wants someone with money. He's just making a point. She can his make a different point. point. Doesn't matter if she doesn't care about being married or having kids. He want her to be a housewife that's so exclusive than the women in the world. He didn't and she want, don't want to be that. <laughs> he didn't want her to be anything. He was stating a general reality and if she cares or not, she doesn't have to. She didn't say anything, so okay. I, I just think you're a pick me. <laughs> I don't know. I just think you're a pick me. Oh, wow! Wow, oh, um, hey, hey, whatever. Oh, wow, I'm so cool, right? I'm so cool. Saying water with a W in my face. I man, this just stating. I that mean, he's be, be stating. Pick, he's right? stating so, a general he, reality. He, he, if it doesn't apply to her, then but, it doesn't matter. But I mean, the type, the type of woman generally that rich, rich men stay away from is a type of woman that only dates them for their money. I'm just pointing that out. That's it. Cool. Or like annoying bitches. By the way, I just want to let you know that that's a 100% uncontroversial statement. I don't know who would ever disagree with it. If I walk down the streets of Santa Barbara right now and just grab any random person and said, do you think a rich man would prefer to date or not date a gold digger? What do you think he would say? I think he'd be like, why'd you grab me? <laughs> like most yeah, women are gold diggers. Yeah, that was, most that women was very, are gold diggers. That, that was very clever. But what do you think he would actually say if he answered the question? Yeah, but most of them are, go are gold diggers. They're not just gonna tell you. So y'all all seem to sometimes fall for the innocent pick me act that a lot of women have, just to secretly be like, yes, he's rich. I got him. 
So yeah, congratulations, looking Especially for the for gold digger. They never have You're to gonna get her regardless. Them for their money, they don't know how to look out for that at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is hard. If the money goes away, then what are you left with? So no, not all women are gold diggers. But who said that all women are gold diggers? This is where they go to these kind of, not even generalities, but they go to a full affirmative uh, statistic. Like who said all? Nobody said all. And say all women are gold diggers. I'm not a you gold digger. I said most women are gold diggers you and y'all still fall for it. You said there are pick me girls who pretend not yeah, to Yeah, you're be. the pick me. If wow. there's no You're money, the if there's no You're the money, me. wait, you gotta let her finish speaking. Go ahead. If there's no money, she's probably gonna get picked. If there's no money, <laughs> then what do you have left? If you have a good, that's a good point, Andrew. She might just get uh, picked. That's true. Man, and he's working towards something, and he's just not there yet. But he's a worker versus some people are just given money. But if you take away the money, what do you have left? Is that guy worth your time? That's what a lot of good women look for. Yeah. As I said, it's really funny to watch is, uh, you know, women tend to always tell on themselves, right? It's like, you go, well, wait a second, right? This is just fine, Andrew. I'm going to make an argument that women can totally fool a guy by conning him for his money. It's Most like, pick are you going to tell on yourself more or what? Most women like, do. That's not to, I, I don't know. Who right. You, it's a general, you're right. Most women do. I'm telling you from outside. my experience of how I've been around women, you could think the one that's telling you the truth is the gold digger, but the one that silently picked me is the real gold digger is what I'm saying. Oh. So just because she says she wants money don't mean she won't like you, love you, treat you like a king. Like, you don't know what you're getting. All she said was she wants someone with money. I don't even care if they have money. I'm not like that. I'm just defending like her because I don't judge her but for wait, that. But wait, you could be that woman who is pretending to not be like that that way you get picked so that they so don't I'm know the gold now. digger, right? Oh my <laughs> right? god, yeah. Like by that logic, isn't that the case? No, that's not the case. I'm just defending no. someone who was talking about money and I stuck up for her when nobody else did. That's the only case. A pick me interrupted and wanted to make her Wow. and you validate and nobody cares. Me personally, I don't care. I don't think you care so much that you're defending your argument almost uh, ready to fight. That's these pick me she you know what's great she's the pick me you ask me she she like, yeah you, you, you sure are saying a lot for someone who don't care because there we I go you like don't her. care really loudly you yeah, don't care really but i like her but i like her so uh -huh. i feel like what you're saying yeah. you weren't getting it so i was trying to help you uh, but no, I, I think i get it fine i've talked to okay. thousands of women all over the nation you think okay. that this is the first time i've heard this and let me tell you how it always ends it always ends the same exact way without the millionaire that's how it ends. well you did say <laughs> you're quick now you, you Just did saying. say you're a quiz, so if she does, we hope you stick to your word. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Lady's crazy. This lady right here is crazy. Something wrong with her, I'm telling you. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one.